Well, should we hop into Katowice? Start yeah, to... obviously, yeah, we'll... metaphorically. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are, we'll That's one of my nightmare first. phrases, you know. That's like something I hear on a plane. Oh, we're going to have to make an emergency landing in Katowice, Poland. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Mate, I, I would, at that point I would just get, get the, I would just get out like the fucking you know the fucking parachute I'll, I'll take my chances over Hungary or something at that point in time you know? I would I would be deeply deeply amused I'd, I'd, the thing is like as an aside if you could would you go back and visit now given what we know as in Poland. as in Yes, would you go back to Poland and visit Poland if you if you could like have a do over uh, to go and visit to go and visit Poland? Like, would you do it if you could uh, if you could put all that aside and not have to not have to worry about that bullshit? Oh, right, as in if I could just visit as a country. Yes, if Here's you could just thing. visit as a country. As, as Here's a tourist. the thing: if you actually go to like Warsaw or you go to like Krakow, Krakow, yeah, I haven't been to Krakow, but everyone tells me that's great too. Warsaw is like a legit city, yeah. It's just the problem here is. I've told this story a million times. If you're smart, you can guess who I'm referring to. Every story I told about bad roads, football violence, the problems, police issues, they were they were things I was told by the most legendary Polish players to ever be in esports. Not just in CSGO, but in CSGO as well. So the, the worst thing about that dirty angle is people acted like I made a bunch of stuff up. Like the problem Poland has is Everywhere isn't Warsaw, mate. And kind of eats it sure as fuck isn't Warsaw. In fact, you know what, Semler? That ties into a topic that most fans aren't going to be shrewd enough to see through. Because, you know, when fans saw Cadian's tweet early this week that was like, you know, when are events going to, like, fix the catering, these TOs? They're dumb enough to think, well, he just came from Blast. Wow, does Blast really have problems with their food? Look, Blast also does the catering thing, and it's not, it's not the best. Like, spoiler, here's the real problem with catered food. Even if it's actually good catered food... It's not a buffet, mate. They're going to have two choices. So as Cadian says, if you travel 150 days a year, even if it's good food, imagine you only have two choices per day for your food every single day. Like that will start to feel like prison in a way, you know, especially by the way, spoiler, when you're a player that makes 15, 20K a month, you could just have whatever you wanted if you had the time off. But here's the real thing no one figured out there, Samla. Spoiler, because of the Thorin doctrine, no one is going to badmouth Katowice, who is a player or fucking talent. So I actually think he was low-key hinting because that was the travel day to go to Katowice, wasn't it? So since he knows he's about to be in Katowice for like two and a half weeks or something, I think that was him just sort of being like, I don't really like the shit food, because that's the one thing everyone, you know this behind the scenes, everyone complains about the food there. They say it's like, you know, don't they say it's like there's a KFC and a one pizza place, and then that's just that, that's it. It's just death after that. It's like, no, there's no there's way no you can lot, get it. I remember no. correctly, yeah. Like, you don't know, guys, the joke is, I'll give you a little bit more goss. The people who have to go to Katowice for Pro League, so not the casters, they hate that the casters get to go to Malta for Pro League and be with the players. And then they're just like stuck in a gulag, metaphorically, of course, in, in fucking Katowice, just like bloody hell. And then even worse on the broadcast, you don't even always remember they're in separate locations, do you? Yeah, that's the thing. No this one likes a... going there, mate. No one likes going there. Come on. But dude, this is, but it's cheap. <laughs> that's why it's there. That's why we have the event there still, of course. Yeah. That's why the event's there. That's why Katowice, I mean, if you think about it from uh, ESL's perspective, I mean, they've, they've intentionally made it so that their, their Polish office is in Katowice and that's their, one of their flagship events. And then their, their other flagship events is Cologne and that's the, where their headquarters are. So, yeah. you know, it's just like they, they have intentionally made it this way. And that is definitely something that the esports of TOs are still pushing is to have those remote locations. And to even do, I will they just even, say, they could, they would have everything done by there. They would have well, everything done out of a studio remote. They plan to. Remember, that was the plan when they initially went to the online thing. They were going to pivot so that every, you remember, everything would be like a group stage in Malta with the casters and talent in Katowice. And then the finals would be in the different countries. That was the plan because they originally, Samla, wanted to just only fly people to these European locations. And then they didn't want to fly everyone to like, I'm not going to say Sydney because you wouldn't do that one, but you know, like uh, Co Copenhagen or whatever you had the event, you know, the, that was originally the plan they were going to do. No, one thing I will just say, by the way, though, is that's why it's the kind of eats angle everyone always missed on that one. Poland has good food. Like, look, the pierogi are good. I'm just going to roast you forever that it is just Chinese dumplings. You didn't invent them. Every fucking culture in the world has dumplings. They're just a starter in other countries. I know for you, it's like, oh my God. It's like, it's good, but you know, it's not, it's not the best shit of all time, is it? It's just dumplings. <laughs> yeah uh, if, no but you can do them sweet and you can do them yeah, um, yeah. you know like that that's the thing you get savory or you get sweet so uh variety <laughs> that's what makes them special uh yeah well i mean 
like the 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 thing is that uh, that I like about this whole Katowice setup. I mean, granted they have they have had tech issues. Granted, they couldn't even start the matches on time yet again. It it really does blow my mind that we're still in 2023 and we still can't start on time. So uh, that's just uh, just like okay. But the state the studio looks phenomenal. Like you got to give them you got to give them that at least. They the, they really did actually do a great job designing and decorating a very you know it just looks great. It just looks good. Come on. It yeah, but good. here's the problem. Here's the thing, Sam. Hey, dude, remember, Katowice was like they were playing on tennis, on, on like basketball courts in a fucking basketball room. No, 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 no. sorry. I was told that Sport Deck is an incredible arena, one of the best in esports. <laughs> so it's one way or the other. You can, have, you can have your cake, you eat it. Which is it? Which are we doing? So here's what I'll say. This is the problem, Sam. I know from past experience, maybe you do. If you ever talk to someone at an event like that from ESL, what they'll tell you if you come with a content idea is like, there's limited time. Like, you know, like maybe I could give you one guy that could be an editor to do it, but I probably don't have time. I've got to work on other things. So what that means, guys, is there is, an, there is a, a cost to everything you do with the event. It takes away from something else you could have done. So here's my problem. You know me. On the one hand, I love celebrating great players. I like the idea. Of, for example, one thing I do fuck with the ESL is when they will have, like, for Katowice Majors, a former champion come and deliver the trophy. I think that is brilliant. It connects the past. It does a lot of things I think we should have. Like, I don't want people to forget, like, Guardian, now he doesn't play anymore. I would hope if we ever had a major in his region, he'd be one of the legends you'd have bring out the major trophy or you'd have him in, like, a VIP box watching on, like, in soccer where you're the old legendary players watching the new generation. You're like, oh, this is tradition. This is this means something. So I love, on the one hand, Senator, that they did that Hall of legends where if you've won Kanavice or they used to have the same event in Hanover before in Germany, CBIT, if you won one of those events in 1.6 or CSGO, they hung a banner of you inside the arena so you have Pasha and it keeps going forest all the, right, but here's the issue I have with that, is, um They've done all that. So you've done a load of banners, which, spoiler, I'm not in the venue. So to me, it's not as cool. It's cool for the guy in the venue. It's cool for the player, right? But you still haven't. And I think this is mental. The fact no one brings it. It's how you know I'm a content guy and most of you aren't, right? Remember, before Pro League last year, not only was FaZe on to win the Grand Slam, which is ASL's main sponsor, like, PR campaign is to win the Intel Grand Slam, remember? Uh, ESL didn't do any content around it at Pro League. And then, remember, FaZe had something mad, like, what, seven more chances or something? There's still, to this day, and even forget that there is not a piece of content ever created, like, FaZe is going for the grandson. What does it mean? You know, like, well, talking heads, Moses, if they make it, they secure a legacy. And a, not a, There's not even a five-minute video. Like, bro, this is your campaign. The joke is, and I will, in the future, it'll have to be me through my company doing that. Like, I don't know why, but I guess I'll just make all the fucking skrill, won't I? But I can't believe ESL's so lazy, or, or rather, just so uninspired. That's the other thing. They have the time for this assembly. If they cared, there's months and months, like I said, Pro League, remember? Pro League was after the player break last year. You've had ages to put together a killer feature. I would have done it for... As soon as I knew they didn't win the Major Assembler, I'd have had it for the Major, personally. But once I know they I'm at least getting it for Kanavice, kind of eh? because that's the next event. You had months. So yeah, that's where you put a sick mini-doc together. And then everyone watches that, and then the joke assembler then is even people from League of Legends or Dota are going like, holy shit, is this it? Is it the quest for the Grand What if they win the next one? That draws you in. That would be the most amazing shit ever. ESL doesn't even do anything with it, mate. It's their own circuit, and they don't even big it up. What? Do you think this is a? Do you think this is a due to uh, cynicism? Because how many times have we heard this argument from TOs that it's not worth the money, that they can't see the return on the investment necessary in order to make that kind of content, or is this just, just the kind of content where it's just like, listen, it's your marketing budget, you're gonna burn some money, you're gonna do it, whether you can see something or not, you know, coming back from it. This is content that's worthwhile and that you should be spending money on, and uh, that's your justification. You it's nailed not it like, there. Oh, we're gonna get X back for for this or whatever. You know, let's be real. I I said this in the early. This is one thing I nailed early in esports similar. You know, when people would go like, but the business, like, we can't possibly like justify any of that. It's like, you're only here for the margins. Well, then why are you in esports, you moron? Go and be like an investment banker or go and work in like, you know, stocks or go and do... If you want to just make money and see numbers go up and down, that's what you do. Surely you're here first and foremost to do great things in esports. Then, yes, then you've got to marry it with can we make it work in business. But the point with that similar there is even if that loses money, you do that because it establishes your history and legacy. That's a piece that's going to be a marker at this point in time. By the way, it could be a legendary piece. It could be the piece that people remember forever. They do that whether you lose money or not for the sake of you want to do something great. You want to elevate your own tournament, you know. I mean, spoiler, I'll give you the same joke. How much money are they going to make back from hanging up a 
bunch of posters of Pasha and fucking Robin or whatever, like nothing. So that was they did that for self-aggrandizement. They did that because look at us, we are ESL. Because spoiler, the worst part of Katowice is this. Even though it's been, as far as I know, the first Katowice in CS Court was obviously in 2014. They had a Polish event, I believe, the year before. In League of Legends, it was 2013. That was the famous expect here backdoor on Ocelot. And then um so they've had it since 2014 in terms of proper tournaments. So it's obviously, we're now in 2023, but we missed the year because obviously 2021, we had the stupid thing where it was the online one. Take that one off. So basically we're looking at about like, what, nine years or something? Eight, nine years of this? Dude, every kind of eats is still, Carmack makes it about himself. And the fact he's Polish, it's in his country, it's there. This is so special to him. The crowd and him are there. And dude, he, he always cries. He always does that fucking spit. That speech would be epic once, twice. Like maybe you do it first, and then when you get big, you go, wow, I can't believe this is still going. Every year he does the same thing. It's like it's almost like behind the scenes. You know the beginning of the movie, Raging Bull? I imagine him like that in the dressing room. It's like, you know, when Jay Clamot is about to go out for a stand-up gig and he's like in the in the mirror, he's like, I sight myself up, like, come on, champ, like you still got it. Carmack must be going like that. Yeah, they all say, remember what Theron said? Fucking Paul and shit, existential hole, hole of the hole in one motherfucker. Like, I'm gonna go out there. Oh, and it's kind of eats it. It's a prime. It's Intel. You're all here for me. I mean, you're here for the, the Intel Extreme Masters. And, and, the, and me, it's just about him at the end. Like, man alive. Fuck it. The joke is, if he could, he would just run at the end of his speech, crying, tears streaming down his face, like a child running through the parent at the airport. And he would just launch himself into the crowd and they would carry him like Jesus, just to go. Up to the rafters, around the thing. That's right. That's right. Bathe. He would. He would literally be like that scene from Game of Thrones, where fucking what was the name? The Daenerys with all those people from like Marin or whatever carrying her, like oh, oh, Misa, Misa, Mister <laughs> Carmack. Like they would just carry him around the fucking. Except that then by the end, when he gets out, when he when he's done getting carried, he then fireman carries one of them and suplexes yep. them into the. There ground. you go. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> That's the play. That's the way this all goes. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, that reference is too old school for people, but it's it's just also the whack thing about him in it. I know, it's whack. <laughs> dude, it's great. It's still a thing. It's, I love it, dude. I love it. Well, I, I mean, like, let's uh, let's just get into the groups then. Fuck it, because uh, yeah. I it, still technical problems, still all that sort of thing. Uh, the the caster is still. I still also it still bugs me that the caster still are like dressing down uh, rather than at least you know putting on a button. Here's up. the thing. We're never going to win on that one because one, God. I've got bad news for you, Sembler. They've now started doing that trend in LEC. Now when it's yeah, the regular they're, they're, season, they're they dress down and they have you know, the Bermuda the shirt way. on. This is why it sucks because who are the two most influential talent in ESL? Who would you say? At this point, uh, Sponge and uh, and uh, They're Alex. the ones who do it. They're the ones who led that movement. Yeah, of course. They're the ones who want to have the swaggy jacket and the hoodie and then the thing and then, and then like... I, I agree with you, Samler. Here's my problem. I've never had a problem with that. That's what you do at Blast Group Stage. You know what I mean? When you're doing Katowice, in my opinion, that's like a major. From day one, I've got a suit. I might not have my, might yes. be like you. Maybe you save your best suit for the final, but I've got a suit from day one. Listen, at a minimum, I'm suit with maybe no tie and just like a t-shirt, but exactly. I'm at least, I'm starting to, I've got a, a minimum level of professionals I'm coming in with if I'm doing that. And that's that's the thing as well. And they're, they're, you know the thing is that like, uh, uh, the, when, when I bring this up, they always take it personally. Uh, but it really is a question of also uh, showing some respect to the players because, okay, fine. You're not into the, you're not into the main event yet. You're not into the yeah, playoff yeah. or any of those, but what? So Greyhound, you know, don't, don't matter. Like, like the, those players flew there in Greyhound's case from around the freaking world. Like the least you could do is dress up a little bit, right? They at least you flew from an imaginary country shirt, that doesn't exist. They came Sorry? from Narnia. They came from an imaginary country that doesn't even exist. You can't even dress up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's based as fuck if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> based so, as fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's just like, dude, I mean, I don't know. That's that's just again, this is just gonna be me nitpicking until the end of time because whatever. Yeah, like, that's uh, what this show is. It's by the numbers. <laughs> Have you ever followed it along? Yeah, 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 no, but it really it, it is just that. It's just like at least put a button up shirt on, put a coat on, but like a, just a modicum modicum of professionalism because yeah. this is this isn't you casting from home this isn't you know some bedroom broadcast or whatever where your bed's not made behind you like this is supposed to be one of esl's flagship events one of their top two events that has been going on for years now and they make the biggest deal out of it that you got a grand slam on the line like you said there's there's real money there's real prestige on the line look the part like watching somebody wear a fucking t-shirt and a flannel 
Uh, it's like, what the fuck am I watching right now? Am I watching some guys at the bar? Like, like who who is telling me what I should be paying attention to? Who's building the storyline for me here? And why should I take him seriously if he looks like he's about to head out to have a pint at the fucking local pub? Uh, fuck off. By the way, I've got a, an addendum a to this. Bare minimum too. that you could do, and it could be for us, the viewers, and it could also be for those players because every stage of this tournament matters. It's not the online qualifier where you're casting from your bedroom at home. Now you're at Katowice. Now you're at the actual venue. You're in a massive fucking hall that ESL have done up to look good. The least you could do is make an effort to look good yourself. This is where a moron's going to think they got me, haven't they? They think they got me checkmated now, similar, because I famously, what happened on day one of the first major in CSGO? I was wearing a Lakers jersey, you remember? But here's what they won't know, Samler. That isn't Katowice 2023. Yeah, One, know, that, was in, that was in 2013. The joke is, analysts, there wasn't even an analyst desk then. That was the first one, I think. Or maybe they'd had it in like one dream out winter with like Red Eye and Lurpus or something. There wasn't, first of all, that level of professional. This is 2013. It was mad sketchy in esports. And not was DreamHack. DreamHack, the whole vibe is it's literally kids taking it well. Pretend they don't take drugs, drinking energy drinks and watching fucking Bass Hunter. Well, maybe nowadays kids shouldn't watch Bass Hunter, but that's another fucking Bass comment, isn't it? So, or go eating it, eating the worst kebab ever created or lying under a bit of a desk illegally when he's supposed to go to the hotel to sleep. Whatever. It's all, it, was a, it was a party. It was a festival vibe, if you don't know. Festival, and yeah. here's the detail people won't know. Maybe you remember this. That it was actually even told, because it was the major that DreamHack ran first, they explicitly told us in the email, wear whatever you want that would make you feel comfortable. Because if you don't know, DreamHack didn't used to be like the pro, we're dressing up, we're top. They were, they were like, we're esports grassroots. They did want the vibe of like, these are just two guys who were just gamers. Like, I would never, and spoiler, didn't. Go and look when I worked ESL events. I was always there with the suit and tie. I was always looking good. I was like, yeah, I always had it nailed away. So it's all about horses for courses. In the context, then it made sense. I think in 2023, yeah. And especially, spoiler, here's another one for you. If you knew how much these guys were on, grow the fuck up. Just pop the suit on, mate. If you can't handle it, you can hand that day rate to someone else. By the way, that day rate's what, like, you know, a normal person makes in a month. You, for You make it for a day. So... I just think there's a level, I am with you, there's a level, there's a level of, like, I can, you can have a semi-casual, and we're on that one, but there's, there's like a, there's a degree of sort of, there's a modicum of decorum I expect now. That's, uh, Especially that if is, you're uh... the best as well. Come on, if you, that's the other thing, if Hawker rocked up, and he was like, oh, you know, I'm still well, finding my feet. If you're like Machine and Sponge, you're the kings, mate. Come on, dude, well, dress like it. The, the other side of it, though, is that, remember, Dream Act Winter 2013, it's like, I, I think, I, shit, I think if I'm not mistaken, I was wearing a flannel or something, but like, dude, sure. we were all fucking broke. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that's you didn't factor. have two Copex to rub together. Oh, dude. if you this don't know, by the way, this is not a joke. The, job. the entire major, which was three days long, I made less for the entire three-day major than what my one-day rate would be today for one day's work. So enough said. Yeah, exactly. Enough yeah, said. No, it's, it was, it was appropriate back time. then. Now, now I think it's uh, I think it's different, and uh, well, it's just that's my my observation. If I were to uh, if I were to be the <laughs> if I if I were to have any say on that matter at all, but I know that uh, unfortunately uh, that has made me very un holding this opinion in particular has made me very unpopular with those guys. So you know, whatever it is, what it is, but uh, you know, there you go, lads. I hope that uh, I hope uh, yourself. that uh, you guys. Uh, See more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.